Careful with my toe, too. What's that, John? We can do a move, but under conditions. Well, what's going on? I want you to, I want you to be my partner tonight. Okay, well, fine. I jam my foot into the toe into the mat, so it's a little sprain at the knuckle, and then, you know, I don't want any moves on my neck today. It hurts, okay? No, hey, hey, want, hey. You, you guys want to do some neck stuff tonight? Teach no, me grappling? No. Nope, then I'm, nope, not going to do it. Let's do, let's do some neck stuff. Let's do some things. Listen, we have a motto here at PG. Listen to this, guys. Safety, efficiency, longevity. Any one of those three commandments get violated, you don't do it on the mat. We want to roll till the end of our days. I want to roll till I'm in a coffin or on my way to a coffin when my time comes. Brian will pick this up right now. Safety, efficiency, longevity. Remember those guys. You guys, you want to work on the neck, right? Let's work on the neck. Um, all right, <clears throat> let's do this real quick. Check this out. I, we're not going to do any neck stuff for John. We're going to protect his neck. Guys, I had a, um, a, a request. The Von Flu choke, how do you get out of it? How do you get out of a Von Flu choke? And I have one little trick, and there's no guarantee you're going to get out of a Von Flu choke, guys. If any move is put in properly, you could get caught and you could get choked out. So you're going to get to choke me. <laughs> so I'm gonna have him Von Flu choke me, okay? All right. So let's say I got a guillotine, I made my grip, and he passed to, to side control. Now remember, guys, he's gonna trap my arm. You see this? He oh man, that's so tight. He pinched it. I can't take it out. And then he's gonna lock a palm to palm. He really wants to put the palm to palm with his left palm facing down. His right palm's facing up. That makes it better for him when it comes to the squeeze. Now, some guys don't even do that. They don't even think about it. And the move I'm gonna show you is gonna work even better. But first, let's show the Von Flute choke. My voice is already starting to change because you notice his left shoulder starts to choke out my neck. And I can't defend because even if I let go of the choke, I can defend with my right forearm a little bit, but I can't pull my right, my, my left hand out. And now people do different methods. Some people just get on their toes and they kind of like sag the left hip. And then he chokes me. Sometimes like what I've shown is you sprawl that left leg all the way and you do the back step, you know, kind of back step. Oh my gosh. I think that's the best way, but I will say this guys, when people do the Von Flew choke, Sometimes John doing the Von Flu choke will get really frustrated because when he tries to do it, the person on the bottom does this defense. They basically walk in a circle. So go ahead, start to sprawl out, and put that weight. They do this. And every time they're walking in a circle, you're trying your best to solidify the position and not allow them to turn anymore. So again, John starts to like put that pressure and sprawl out. Like there, and I'm doing this. So he walks that way. And I keep moving. And now John, can you get me? Go get me. Oh, he he I tried, but he really put some stank on it. Let me give John a little break. How's your neck, buddy? Oh, that's fine. It's <laughs> okay position. It's just a clamp on the neck versus like yeah. it being really tucked in a. Do you have any jujitsu pains right now? <clears throat> that, that's John's pain, the neck. Okay, now watch. That's one way people sometimes create problems for the Von Flu guy. But if you've got a great Von Flu choke, you're not worried about that. Now, the next one I'm going to do is my little trick. You got to don't wait until it's over. Don't wait until you're passing out, guys. Do this right away. Watch what I do. I'm gonna talk about it slow before we do it fast. So here you go, okay. trap my arm. Okay, so he traps my arm, he locks everything up. I'm getting Von Flued. Now, he's, he's putting pressure. Now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take, <laughs> just ease off. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, stay right there. I'm gonna put all my weight on his lock. All of my weight on his lock. So you gotta think about this. When most guys are trying to turn this way to try to 
bite this pressure off, he puts pressure on it, right? On my neck. Go ahead, sprawl out. Yeah. You see how they're normally fighting it differently? I'm going to fight it like this. My feet load. And I'm going to put all the weight on his lock. You feel that, John? Yeah. I put all the weight on his lock, like this. Now go ahead and start choking me. Now watch. Hi. See what happened? I'm sorry, Johnny. Good. What happened was, leave your hands right where they are, John, and I'm gonna do a sit-up. You ready? Let's sit up. That's what happened to his hands. Show where the lock was, John. It was right here, and then it got crunched, and then it went here. And it went like that. So what I'm doing is, I'm putting all the weight on it, and I'm rolling the lock. So as he starts to choke you, you're gonna okay. smash the lock, and then he's still trying to hold me and choke me. I take the hand out. Now I can fight. Now I can fight, and he's no longer gonna finish me with the von flu, and I can get my arm free <clears throat> after it's already been caught. Brian, can you go over the detail where, where you have the lock and then you're, you're putting pressure on the lock where it opens it up and it folds it over? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so, let's see if we can show this. So you gotta get it trapped. Yeah. You gotta get me trapped. There you go. To position right here. So, you, can you see? Yeah, can you see that pretty good, Anthony? Yes, sir. Okay, so now watch. I just lay on it and I lift my body up. Uh, yeah, so, all going. the weight goes there. Even if you try to hide your lock, like try to try to keep it in a safe place, so I can't do it. Do you know what? I, yeah, like kind of out there as much as you can. Yeah. Even the, if it's there, watch what I do. I go up and down. Okay. You see that? It's like literally breaking your wrist, huh? It, it crunches your hand. this part. Yeah. Like it makes your hand kind of like, like break. Yeah, like that. Like that. So then you put all your weight on it, and you basically. Push your body over it. Once you push your body over it, his hands aren't connected anymore. He loses a huge amount of effectiveness. Now he has to keep this trapped. Keep that trapped as best you can. Mm -hmm. As I pull, 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 and I take it out. Now I'm not out of the woods yet. I mean, I'm still in a bad spot. Immediately, if you have to, relieve a little bit of pressure. I mean, breathing is number one. You gotta breathe. This is bad because my elbow's out, but if you gotta breathe, you gotta breathe. And then now, and keep this off, and as he puts a lot of pressure on you, just don't get arm triangled. You don't wanna go let him get that. So you see how his hand had to go back in? So right here, don't let him do that. Get, move, and kinda of shimmy your shoulders, and get your elbows back in. Boom, then you can escape side control. So that's a little trick, guys. Um, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Uh, where I learned this, I didn't learn it from anyone in particular because the Von Flu choke, I would be willing to bet, probably doesn't have this move out on YouTube yet. Like I don't think any other instructors have done this. Now maybe they know it, but you know, maybe they've discovered the same escape I have. But where I learned this from is from freestyle wrestling and Greco-Roman wrestling. So I'll, I'll briefly talk about that just so you know the story on where I learned this stuff. Because I show moves and sometimes people go, is that really gonna work or, you know, this is a really tried and true uh, technique against a freestyle gut wrench. A freestyle gut wrench is where John locks his hands around my waist with a palm to palm or any other lock. And he basically, you know, just kind of like drive your left knee under my hip and start to roll me over. Like he just kind of rolls me over. See that? And that's basically a gut wrench, you know? Go ahead, roll me back. So in freestyle wrestling, to a jiu-jitsu guy, that seems really odd, like why that would score points, but he's flipping me over to my back. That's the rules of the game. He scores two points every time he does it. So when a guy's here, you can see that lock. What do you do in, in a freestyle wrestling situation? You put your stomach and your body on that lock, and then you push off your feet, and you roll his lock and it breaks his lock. And then if you can roll over his hands, just stay locked and your, your hands will roll basically down to my hip. I'm not gonna hurt you, I'll do yeah. it easy. But you'll crawl forward and then now, even if he did have a lock, it's so far low, like bring it all the way down, because I don't want to hurt you, yeah. 
See, as I roll it down there, he's got next to nothing now. So when he's down low, 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 low around the hips, he's no longer around the rib cage, which really, really helps him turn me. He can still do a gut wrench and freestyle but here, but it's, it's less effective for the most part. And now I'm pushing back and, and his lock is screwed up. He's got to set his lock again. And I'm using my body to not let the hands connect. So that's the little story. So all you wrestlers out there are going to be happy. You know, I, I told you where it came from. It came from wrestling. But all I did was apply that same principle to the Von Flu choke in order to escape it. Um, try this out in your room. I'm pretty certain it'll work well as long as you guys pay attention to how you lift your body weight and put your body weight on his lock. Now, the last thing I'll say, guys, because I'm, I'm honest about everything and I don't want people thinking that I'm saying, destroy every Von Flu choke. No, it, it, every character is different. If you have the right guy with the right strength, with the right stamina, with the right position, with the right grip, and he's got you, and you're about to pass, you, he's got you. You can't wait too long. You can't pick on the biggest guy in the room and say, let me get out of your Von Flu choke. You need to develop your skills, and you need to, once you make everything even, I think it's fairly effective, you know? So don't, don't go out there and, and try to pick on somebody who's the Von Flu choke master, and then they're also bigger and stronger than you, and then say, I think I can get out of yours. Start with someone that's realistic to you and, and see if you can escape it, and then work your way up. You know, give it time. Shift all your weight on the lock. Practice smashing and pressure to roll those hands. And that's also the reason why I tell you, you've got to have the right palm to palm if you're a Von Flu guy. If you have the wrong palm to palm, it is really going to roll your hands. So if you, if you do it this wrong, it's going gonna, it's gonna to roll it easier. Having a proper palm to palm when it comes to that Von Flu, sometimes if there's sweat, the guy will try to roll our lock. This is the Von Flu point of view, and it'll slide. And if our hand slides, our lock doesn't get rolled. If our hand can slide. So we need not too much sweat and we need to plant all the weight on their hands and make this happen. We, we, we don't want to be, if the guy who's doing the Von Flu is gripped improperly like this, it, 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 it's going to get, there's no way that thing's going to slide at that angle. So anyway, I talked too much. Sorry guys, thank you so much. Teach Me Grappling, if this video helped you, click like, share this video, click on the alarm bell, Check out our other videos. Click the link down below at PayPal and Patreon. Um, contribute to this channel. Um, this is a free channel to everyone in the world if you have YouTube. But for those of you guys that would like to contribute so that I can continue to bring you this awesome content, please contribute. Thank you so much to everybody out there that already does. See you guys next time. Thank you, John. Thank you. Did, I, did I go easy on your neck? It's perfect. All right. We're out. <laughs>